Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, um, we have this model right now where people are starting to affect each other. They're affecting each other in the model through peer pressure effects associated with initiation of smoking. That occurrence of smoking is then driving heart disease in the population. People who are never smokers develop heart disease earlier than those who are never smokers. But never smokers accrue over time, over their 100 years, some chance of heart disease that eventually leads to a significant prevalence. Um, but let's, let's now simulate the effects of heart disease and mortality. So I'm gonna post this model. It'll be V6 for anyone who wants it. And we're gonna go on and, and, uh, compo and um, create this, this final version for today, okay? Um, so here we go. It'll be V6 if anyone wants it. And it's in the models built-in class folder. Great, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to add mortality. Now, for simplicity, we're going to assume that the impacts, we're going to assume for simplicity that we're going to capture mortality impacts of heart disease. We're not going to be dealing with lung cancer. We're not going to be dealing with emphysema. We're not going to be dealing with a set of other uh, uh, significant risks imposed by heart disease and in, in I'm sorry, by smoking in other areas of the body, which are considerable. Instead, we're going to focus right now on heart disease and as a risk factor for mortality. And we're going to contrast mortality rates among those with healthy hearts versus those with heart disease. So I'd like to show you how we can accomplish this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the palette and we're going to go to the agent palette and we're going to add in an element called a final state. Now a final state in any logic is one of these special elements for state charts. It's, it's traditionally used to capture a situation where an agent is, is uh, encountering, is gonna disappear, it's, it's gonna encounter, in this case, mortality. And it can be shared between multiple state charts. So you could actually have you know, uh, a transition from it from smoking status that might reflect other factors of current smoker. But for now, we're going to focus on it from heart disease. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for this? Okay, so we're going to add transitions from heart disease. Are you ready? To the final state and from healthy heart to the final state. Okay, there we go. And these transitions are going to be given by rates. So this would be um, um, uh, I'll say other cause mortality, um, something along those lines, um, or or mortality. Um, uh, uh for um uh, for, uh with with healthy heart um that's it's it's not my preferred um uh, way of phrasing it but we'll do that with healthy heart okay and it will be a rate transition will be given by a a uh, hazard rate of chance per unit time not a probability probably per unit time this is continuous time um, and it will be uh, probably per unit time, just like you might compute in a survival analysis or competing risks analysis, or recurrent events analysis and biostatistics. Similarly, this one will be this other one. From, so this one is mortality with healthy heart and this one will be mortality with heart disease. 
There we go, with heart disease. And this one will be a rate transition as well. Okay. And now we just have to realize that there are different rates at which these occur. And we can capture that by, by virtue of the fact they're coming from these different states. Now we could do a lot more than this. We could have how many years this person had been a smoker considered. We could have their age considered. We could do all that, but time is short right now. If there's interest in doing that tomorrow, I'd be glad to show that. It's it's actually quite fun. Um, you could keep track how many pack years someone has smoked or the number of years that they were a smoker, et cetera, and, and take that into account as well as their age and possibly sex. But for now, we're going to impose different rates. And by sort of good practice, we should really, I could put in a number here, but really it should be a, a parameter so we could vary it in different scenarios. So I'm going to go up to main. I'm going to go up to main and I'm going to add in a parameter that will be called, um, and maybe I'll I'll put it down here. I'll, I'll move this population out of out of the way further to the left. And I'm gonna call this um I'll call it mortality rate um uh for healthy heart. Okay. And this is going to be zero point, I'll make it zero one. Remember, time unit is years. Okay, so on average, they'll live, gosh, with a healthy heart, they'll live 100 years on average. That's one over 0.01. And now I'm going to add another one. This will be mortality rate. Anyone want to guess what this one will be? Mortality rate for heart disease, great disease. And maybe this will be, what do you think? Uh, 0 0.04, uh, that would be on average 25 years with heart disease. Um, they'd live, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe 0 0.03, that'd be 33 years with heart disease they'd live before dying. Um, I'll, I'll make it 0 .0, uh, I'll make it 0 0.04, okay? There we go, 0 0.04. Okay, these live in Maine. So I added two parameters to Maine. That would allow scenarios to vary them. We could do sensitivity analysis on them. We could say, what if this were higher, et cetera. And now go back to person and let's complete the thought. This one here, what's the rate going to be? What's it going to be given by? Who could tell me what to type? Excellent. Maine dot... Mortality, space, rate for, guess what? What is this one from? It's from healthy heart. Bang. Um, this one here, you're going to tell me what to type. What do I type? Main dot, excellent, Fatima, great. Main dot what? Mortality for heart disease. Okay, now... We're almost done. We have one stinking line of code to write. But one significant line of code to write. Are we ready? Are we sealed ourselves? Okay? Okay, a little bit more time. Okay? Uh, TAs, please, please be ready to help. Okay? We'll give you a little bit more time. What, what? Logic remains. Can anyone say what's the missing piece? What's the missing ingredient? What still has to be done? Well, it turns out this final state actually has to del uh, delete them. It, it has to get rid of them from the population. Okay, um, and and we're going to have to uh, put that in place. Okay. Okay. Okay, we ready to go on? Okay, so when they enter this state, this, there's an action. 
In any logic, when you enter a state in a state chart, there's an action that can occur. When you go across a transition, you can give it an action, something to do. Print something out, report something, calculate something, change something. There are all these actions, these so-called handlers that occur. For this, when you come into the state, there's a handler. And I'm going to tell you how to handle it so that this person disappears. Are we ready? Are we ready for this? Ready or not, here we come. Okay. Main dot remove population. And we're going to remove ourselves. And I'm going to use a word here you've never yet seen. This, that means remove me. I've been eliding it from your consciousness. I've been sparing you the details of this. Each time we could have used it. But now I will reveal it to you in all of its horror. So this means me. I'm basically saying remove me. It's just a reference to myself. This is a reference to myself. It's saying, hey, me, remove me from the population. And that agent will go away. Are we okay with this? Oh, could we do one more thing? Can we do just one more thing with malice of forethought? And record how many people have died. We don't just want them to vanish into the ether. We actually want to memorialize them. We want to remember the number that have died. Can we do this? Can I show you how to do it? Can I build a skill that we did earlier? And you can exercise it one more time? Okay. I appreciate the validation. Yes, it's great. Okay. Um, so we got the permission for those remote from the local participants to proceed with alacrity. Okay. So we're, we're, this will actually work. Let's let's run this first, and then we'll add that part in. Um, let's keep your spirits buoyed. So first of all, make sure it builds. And if it if it doesn't build, make sure it's a happy camper. And if it's not a happy camper, make a TA a happy camper by helping. Okay? They yearn to be happy campers by helping. Are we ready? Okay. You folks are just awesome. This is great. I'm, I'm so appreciative of your patience with this. So let's run the model. What do you think we'll see differently now? Anyone? Want to guess? What will we see differently? Yeah, they're starting to disappear. Do you think that people disappearing might also affect the rates above? Why would it affect the rates above? Can anyone say? Because what? If they're... Yeah, the population, the denominator. Who disproportionately is dying faster, too? Those with heart disease, right? Um, you'll notice that the number of never smokers, excuse me, the number of former smokers with heart disease is actually staying comparatively smaller here. Why is that? And current smokers with heart disease is staying comparatively smaller. Why do you think this is? Because they are dying, right? They're actually Dying. And even the number of never smokers is uh, with heart disease is coming down over time, the number, because they're dying. Mm -hmm. um, these rates of heart disease that we put into place, there's a real um, difference by a factor of four in the mortality rate for healthy heart versus the mortality rate for heart disease, um, uh, with heart disease. For heart disease, it was 0.04. So they would live an average of 25 years with heart disease, where they'll live a, a, an average of 100 years with a healthy heart. And so a lot of people with heart disease are actually dying um, uh, dying and, and uh, disappearing um, comparatively, uh, comparatively soon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to... Uh, now put into place a mechanism for counting the number of people that have died in total. So 
Um, I'm going to post this model. This will be version seven. If anyone wants to get it, they can do so from that course site. And uh, I'm adding it now. Here we go. File upload. And I'm posting it there. And uh, it's there now. Okay. Okay. So, um, here we go. Okay, so we want to compute in main. Uh, we want to compute the count of people that have died from heart disease. So I'm going to add, so should I add a parameter or a variable? What do you think? A variable, because it's changing over time. A parameter is used to encode an assumption and communicate that. This is not an assumption. This is a count. It's a record over time. It's an aspect of model state. We have state charts to store state, but we can also store it in variables. This one will drag into main. Oh, does it live in main or does it live at the person level? The count of people that have died. It would live in what? Main, because it's an overall thing. It's for the entire population. So put it in main. It'll be called count. I'll call it count cumulative um, uh, heart disease deaths. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a count. What type does it have? Can anyone say what type it would have? Good, Fatima is, is exactly right. Yeah. What type does it have? An int. That's right. And its initial value will be zero. Okay. Count cumulative heart disease deaths. And now I'm going to show you a trick because we're going to have three of these cumulative heart disease deaths, cumulative non heart or healthy heart deaths, and cumulative deaths overall. Um, so I'm going to. Click on this while pressing the control button and pull it down. And oh, I tried to copy it, but it it didn't do it. Okay, there we we did it. I held the control key and clicked on it and dragged, and I copied it twice. So one will be cumulative heart disease deaths. One will be cumulative healthy heart deaths. Healthy heart deaths. Wade, I'd like to talk with you about an interesting mathematical fact after this session. Um, and the other one will be count cumulative deaths overall. Count cumulative deaths. So we have three variables. Both of them, all of them are ints. They all start at zero. And they're going to be tallies that we're going to tally up the count of deaths thus far among people with heart disease, among those with healthy hearts. Oh, th this one should say, yeah, healthy heart disease. No, it shouldn't say healthy heart disease. It should say healthy heart deaths. I don't, I don't know why it said healthy. I, I, I'm being sloppy. Uh, healthy heart, heart deaths. Um, yes. So it's death in those with healthy heart. Uh, cumulative heart disease deaths and cumulative uh, cumulative deaths, okay? They all start at zero. Where will those be changed? Where will those need to be updated? Where will we need to add one to those tallies? Can anyone tell me? Where does where Where is it in the model that we would need to change those? That we need to add one to those? Speak on. I heard mutterings. I heard whisperings of insight. Where would that live? Where would these need to be changed? In person. And where in person? Where in person would something happen that needs to, where we need to record, oh, there's been a death. Where would it happen here? Is it when they become a, a smoker? Is it when they relapse? Or is it somewhere else? 
Where would something happen where we have to say, ah, there's been a death? Yeah, the final state, we're get, we can record here, there's been a death, right? So we would do main dot count cumulative deaths. And how do we increase it by one? We saw it before. We do plus plus. That means just increase it by one. I'll, I'll, all it means is um, this equals this plus one. Um, that's all it means. It, it's just shorthand for this. I'm telling it because you'll see it in places. And also, this is a bit wordy. You kind of got to look, okay, what's on the left side? What's on the right side? It's a bit of an eyeful where if you just do plus plus, it just means, hey, make it one bigger than it was. Count cumulative deaths. Great. But... Can we do those other two? Can we increase here in the final state the count of healthy heart deaths, or do we have to increase those somewhere else? Well, what what occurrence of what here would would require us to record a healthy heart death? It's it's what happens. It's that someone goes from where to where. Someone goes from, yes, healthy heart to the end state. Fatima got it again. So right here, from healthy heart to the end state, we need to increase that count of healthy heart deaths. So it's in the action. It's the thing that takes place. When they go that transition, this is going to happen. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Okay? Um, and it's count healthy heart, cumulative healthy heart deaths, plus, plus. I should have emphasized, do we need a semicolon? Yes, because why is that? Because we're telling it what? Do it, do it, make it happen. It's a command. We're saying, do this. We're not just telling it, hey, compute this value, give me, give me the value. We're saying, like, do this thing, make it happen. Right? Are we okay with that? Hearing no objections, we're moving right along. Okay, and what do we do for this one? What do we do for this transition? What do we increment there? What tally do we increment? We're almost done. What increment, what thing do we need to increment here for this transition from heart disease to the end state? What do we need to increment? What tally do we need to notch up one more? Yeah, count heart disease deaths. Wanda got it exactly. Um, main dot count heart disease deaths, cumulative heart disease deaths, plus plus. Okay. 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 And we need a semicolon. Make sure your model is built okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, can I create a graph of them? Can I create a graph? May I, may I have your permission to create a graph? Yeah? Okay. If you watch Gilbert Strang's lectures, you'll see where I picked up some of these mannerisms. Okay, so if you go to main, if you go to main and now, in main, I'd like to add, I want to add a time plot. Where do I get that time plot? Whence do I get that time plot? Sorry? Yes, in, in the analysis palette. Okay, here we go, time plot. There we go. Okay. You ready? You ready? Okay. Um, so there we go. And this will be called deaths, or we call mortality time plot. Right? Okay. 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 The first thing we're going to plot out is a value, and it's going to be cumulative heart disease. I'm sorry, cumulative deaths overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, great. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Mm. Right. Um, okay, and what should we plot here? What's the total number of cumulative deaths? Where can we get that? Count cumulative deaths. We have a variable for it. There we go. So fill it in. Count cumulative deaths. There we are. Boom. Done. Count cumulative deaths. Next. Boom. Cumulative. Cumulative heart disease deaths. Oh, don't put them all in one word. This is a title. It's not a name of a very long term. Disease deaths. Don't, don't put them all in one word. Okay. And it'll be count cumulative heart disease deaths. Make it make it, use the autocomplete. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something that I've been hiding. For all of these, you could say this dot if you want to. You could say this dot. It just means mine. My cumulative. You don't have to do it, but we often do it in teaching the boot camps because there are times you want to be very conscious of this. So if you want, you could put this in front of it. It's implied. If you don't have it, it's implied. Um, there are times where you want to be sure and clear about what it means, uh, about whether it's in this or, oh, hey. Get, get back there. Cumulative heart disease deaths, and this will be cumulative healthy heart deaths. Healthy heart deaths. There we go. Okay, and and here we go. And this will be count. Okay, cumulative healthy heart deaths. That's it. We're just referring. Where where did I get this? What is this thing? Where did it come from? Who created this? Who created? Who created, sorry? I did. You did, you did indeed. It's that variable down there. It's that there variable that you created. Okay, and you plot it out with this plot. Okay, let's go make sure it's a happy camper. And if it ain't, grab a TA. There we go. And now let's go to the projects window and let's build. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. Here we go, and and we can see here are the cumulative deaths, cumulative heart disease deaths, cumulative healthy heart deaths. There we go. There we go. Um, so the heart disease deaths start going up later. Um, there are some deaths occurring early on among those without heart disease, because there aren't many people with heart disease early on. But over time, the number of, of heart disease deaths starts to, to rise up. Um, and, and so some people are dying before they develop heart disease, and um, the number with heart disease uh, does rise, but um, it, it never actually becomes quite as big as the one without heart disease, I guess, because people are dying before before they, um, in some cases, before they develop heart disease. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have time for here. Um, uh, I've added, uh, so I'm gonna push this uh, up there. This will be version eight. And we've added an open population and we've added statistics. So again, there's been a lot that's going on. Big picture, what have we done? What we've done here, ladies and gentlemen, is significant. We've taken our model and we've added various summary measures. We've seen how we could use the statistics tool in NLogic, which is less, less directly, deeply significant. But we've seen how we can use it to compute summary statistics over the population over the entire model population. And we're reporting um, these uh, statistics uh, over time in these time plots um, that summarize the state of the model, give us insights as to what's going on in the model. And that lends us some understanding of uh, the model dynamics. We could output those statistics to files. We could put them out into a way they can go into spreadsheets. 
And I'm glad to cover that material in other days if it would be of interest to you. But remember, these data are very useful because they can be compared with data from the world. But what we've done is we've simulated the data generating process. We've simulated a process by which the underlying state of the model is reported on by statistics here. Um, and uh, that makes us think about comparing it to external observations from the world. We've also added to this model um, mortality. And that mortality induces a change in population, an open population, population that isn't just one cohort, but it changes over time with mortality. So that's all we have time for today. We're going to switch over to incubator mode. And uh, we have several incubator teams here. Um, and I'm keen to get those teams together. But first, let's have a, I'd say, a five minute break here. And then we will see, seek out the breakout rooms for discussions of each team, right? We have Saab's team with syphilis. And I know uh, Jalen uh, is working on that. I know Nastaran is working on that. We have Wanda's team with issues of food waste and food availability and, and reducing food from various sources and, and provisioning it to the food bank um, for, for effective use and distribution to needy families. Um, and uh, we have several people working on that, uh, including uh, Wade and Nona and Harriet, I think. Is that right? Harriet. Yeah. Uh, and then we have another model, um, uh, which is uh, which is going to be uh, focused on the. Um, remind me. Oh, I should know. Hospital, hospital, and and community care, uh, in which is going to be worked on by uh, uh, who, who's who is it that's on that? We have um, Mattias. We have. Uh, Two others, I think, that were on that. Sorry? Marvi and Nesteron. Uh, Nesteron's on the other one. Yeah, oh. yeah. So I think it's uh, Marvi and, and who? Uh, Mavius, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to break a, a break uh, in five minutes. You want to get some food, use the washroom, and so on. And then I'll take you over to the breakout rooms and we'll get you a quick. Yes, wait. Who is that? the end of session for those online or something? Well, some of them are interested in joining some of these sessions. And um, it, it seems to me a reasonable idea. Um, uh, we will, uh, for example, Jalen with the um, with the model associated with uh, syphilis will be joining remotely anyway. Um, and Marvi will be joining remotely. So I think uh, for each of these, it'll behoove us to have a, a Zoom channel maybe set up or, or some sort of remote connection, and we can let people join in. That'd be my thought. Are we okay with that? Okay. Okay, great. Thank you very much. And let's reconvene here. Okay, uh, in five minutes. Thank you. Um, I think for the online team, what I'm going to do is, um, uh, let's see, how, how best to choreograph this. Um, uh, what I'm going to ask is for people online, um, we have a uh, spreadsheet, which I given yesterday, but I want to make sure that everyone has. Could one of the TAs post this URL here, this ABM incubator? I'll just type it in. Um, tinyurl.com abm incubator 2023 um if if you want to join one of the projects and and sort of uh, be part of the experience you could uh you could go to this and uh and you could um uh, join in that's a okay i don't know why it didn't copy the the full it's 2023 at the end, yeah. Um, uh, 
and you should be able to see a spreadsheet. And please put your name down um, uh, for, uh, it would be, uh, so here, this this is really sponsor email here, um, sponsor email. So I'm gonna add another one, which would be sort of um, onlooker email um, here, for not for the sponsor, but, um, uh, uh, you know, say other participants, uh, email, something like that. Okay. And, uh, if you want to join that, you, you could, uh, as long as the sponsor is okay with that. Okay. Uh, thank you. And we'll try to make sure that we get, uh, we get the zoom channel set up for that or the communication. Thank you. Wait, yes, I'd like to speak with you uh, about a mathematical musing I had while while teaching. Right. Okay. Um, for those online, I'm going to be shutting this so we can get the uh, videos transcribed and and um, we'll look for any of you who want to join. Put your names in the ABM incubator, and we will seek to to reach out to you about to connect you here.